happy Monday fam! What's up? Um, I am here to give you a quick tutorial of the workout today. Um, so if you have any questions, leave me a message and I'll try and answer them the best I can. Um, we're going to go over both the kettlebell dumbbell version and the barbell version kind of all in one. Um, so no matter what piece of equipment you have, uh, you can always get uh, the workout accomplished. Um, if you are missing a piece of equipment or not really sure, just make sure you reach out to me and let me know and I hopefully can get your, answer, your question answered. Um, Alright, so warm up today. Um, we are starting out with a Tabata. We're going to alternate between two movements. Um, we're going to start out with a prisoner style good morning. Um, and then you are going to alternate with um, either a wall sit. And if you don't have a wall around, we're going to do a uh, bottom of a squat hold. So the way Tabatas work are there are eight rounds. You're going to work 20 seconds of work and then 10 seconds of rest. And so that first 20 seconds, we'll be doing those good mornings. And then the second, we'll rest 10 seconds. And then that second uh, 20 seconds, you guys will be doing uh, the bottom of a squat hold or the wall sit, whatever you guys have available. Um, so the first one is that prisoner good morning. So prisoner means that hands are up behind the head like you're getting arrested. Then you're going to go ahead and have a nice soft knee. Push those hips back so your back is nice and flat and you're going to get a nice activation in the hamstring and then bring it up nice and tall. So you're just going to keep repeating these reps for that entire 20 seconds. Then you're going to get 10 seconds of rest. You can go ahead and find a wall and get down into that wall sit here. So push those feet back. You're going to get a nice burn in the quads. That's what we're trying to do. Turn on those quad muscles. Um, and then if you do not have a wall available, just depending on the space that you're using, you're going to do a bottom of a squat hold. So you're going to drop it down as low of a squat as you possibly can. If that's really hard for you to hold or it's harder for you to get down there, go ahead and grab a counterweight so you can use your same dumbbell and you can go ahead and press it out in front of you and it'll help you hold that nice low squat. Just make sure you keep your chest up nice and proud. You're going to hang out there for 20 seconds, not too long, and then 10 seconds of rest. Last a little bit longer, but that's okay. Whatever you have to do to get through with 
quality movement. Um, so if you guys have either a dumbbell or a kettlebell today, you're going to go eight tempo goblet squats. So with that tempo, you guys have a four second descent down and you can stand up like normal. So if you have a dumbbell, you'll hold it just like this. If you have a kettlebell, remember turn it upside down, scoop those hands under, just makes it easier to hold. If you have it this way, it really wakes up those shoulders unnecessarily and you don't need to do that. So focus here. Dumbbell goes right back on your chest. You're going to drop down in that squat. Chest stays up nice and proud. You're going to go one, two, three, four, and then stand up. You got eight reps there. If you have a barbell, you're going to go back squats with that barbell, and your tempo is actually a little bit different. So with your bar, you will have your weights on it. You will have to clean it up unless you are blessed with a squat rack. Then you get to keep those elbows down. Your tempo today is going to be five seconds down, three second pause at the bottom, explode up, and then one second to reset. So best of luck. You still have eight reps to go. So we're going to go ahead and drop it down for one, two, three, four, five. Hold at the bottom for one, two, three. Stand up, reset, back into it. Down one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Up and reset. Cool. So you have eight reps there. It's gonna burn. Then we are gonna go into if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you have eight on each arm, single arm push press. Dumbbell's gonna come up towards that shoulder. You're gonna dip into your power position. Make sure that chest stays up nice and proud. You're not gonna dip forward. You wanna feel like almost you're moving backwards. Keep that core super tight. Drive that dumbbell up overhead. Bring it back down. Drive it up. You have eight reps here. Then you'll switch to the other arm. If you have a barbell and plates, you are going to do a deficit push-up. This push-up um, ideally is going to be done on two plates. So I have two 15-pound plates. You can go up as high as you want. You can do 45. You can do two 45s. Whatever you want. It's just going to increase that depth of going past that shoulder or past your chest when you're doing that push-up. So here I'm going to put one hand on each plate. I'm going to drop it down, touch the ground, and then bring it back up. So if I were to have like two 45-pound plates, there's like no way I'm going to be able to really touch the ground too much, but you get the point. Um, if you're limited on equipment and maybe your plates are on your barbell, um, go ahead and either just do regular push-ups or find something that you can actually elevate your feet on. So if you have like a couch handy or a bench handy or a box, you can go ahead and put your feet up on that box and you can do your push-ups there. That works as well. Um, so you guys are going to go eight total on those deficit push-ups for those of you with um, different equipment or a bar. Or if you have a dumbbell available and you want to go single arm dumbbell push press, do the rest like it. Um, then finally, that last movement in our um, strength sequence is going to be 10 shoulder uh, plank shoulder taps. So you guys are going to be up in that tall plank position. You're going to take opposite hand to opposite shoulder, tap, and then switch to the other side. Remember, you do not want your hips to be swiveling around. So if you need to space those feet out just a little bit, really squeeze that core, and just focus on the only thing moving is going to be that hand touching your opposite shoulder. So it's really 20 bucks there. You're going to go 10 on each side. Don't forget about resting in between rounds. You have five sets to get through. I'd say it's going to take you maybe 15 minutes or so to get through this, um, unless you need extra rest. In that case, take a little extra time. Um, so go ahead, set your time, and don't forget to make sure you can refer back for rest. And we'll catch you back here for the Metcon once you're done. Go ahead, push and pause. All right, let's get to that Metcon we have today. It is going to be four time, not four times, it'll be just once through and then get your time, that's going to be your score. We're going to start out with a 400 meter run, so hopefully you know where that is if you're there at home. Um, if you do not have the ability to go out on a run, um, or it's 117 degrees, which it is right now, I'm pouring sweat actually, um, then go ahead and just switch it to two, uh, two minutes of mountain climbers. Two minutes, give or take, some of us are really fast at running and maybe you have like a 150 or a 140 um, to a 400 meter run, but can't go outside, guess what you're doing? Two minutes mountain climbers. So on those mountain climbers, two ways to do that. One, you can bring that foot all the way up by your hand, jump and switch, get a little uh, hip stretch in there, or you can go ahead and just do knees to elbows here. Up to you, but yeah, two minutes of them. That's gonna be 
alternate there. Um, then for your dumbbell or kettlebell, we were going to do 30 swings. So go ahead and grab that head of the dumbbell if you feel comfortable. Bring it all the way up overhead. Kettlebell swing, just as easy. Or you can hold onto your dumbbell to feel a little more secure. Same rules apply here. It's going to feel like you're doing like a hammer hit on like a tire. That's what it feels like. All right, so 30 of those. If you have a barbell with plates, you're going to go into 30 deadlifts. So barbell starts from the ground. Make sure your hips are above your knees and you're going to press your feet firmly through the floor and then stand up. Back has to be nice and flat. Pull those shoulder blades back. Down and up for 30 reps. Make sure those plates hit on the ground every time. Then you guys are going to go into, no matter if you have dumbbell or a uh, kettlebell or barbell, you have a 150 foot walking lunge. So measure that out at your house. Don't, don't shortchange yourself, but walking lunge, make sure that that front leg and back leg are both in 90 degrees. Knee should tap the ground if you're in grass and you have allergic reactions to grass like me. Please don't touch the ground. You don't want an allergic reaction. Then go ahead, push through that front foot, set, drop it down. So, walking lunges. Then we're going to go back to those 30 kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings, or deadlifts if you have a barbell. And then finishing off with that 400 meter run. Remember, we're switching that 400 meter run to two minutes of mountain climbers if you do not have the capability to run outside. Uh, 12 minute time cap on this workout, so you've got to be quick. You gotta just cruise through this. Make sure you pick weights that you're not gonna have to take too many breaks or hopefully not too heavy. Um, so then you can get through this really quickly. Cool. Um, that's all I got for you to set a 12 minute timer. Uh, you write your time down and make sure you log it into Wattify. We are checking Wattify. So if you are doing those wads at home, we wanna see your score, we wanna see that you did them. Um, and we want, we want you to, we wanna know that you still love us. So give us some love. All right, guys, if you like this video, please let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, as always, love you, and I'll see you tomorrow.